The long-awaited official Facebook Messenger app is finally here for the Windows 10 platform. I'm Oliver from WinBeta, and in this video I'm going hands-on with the Facebook Messenger app not for Windows 10 Mobile, because they apparently haven't bothered, but only for Windows 10. In typical universal Windows platform fashion, the app is partitioned into two main sections. The left column helps you select with whom you want to chat with, along with the search bar on the top for groups and people, and menu tabs on the bottom. The right side is the main course, where all your hot chatting action and intense moral discussion on the ethics of human sacrifice take place. Of particular interest to this content section are the buttons at the bottom, which include a button to search, select, and insert stickers with a variety of expressions. These stickers are in fact separated into packs that can be downloaded wholesale for frequent use. Then there's the GIF button, which allows you to search for various animated expressions and dank memes to impress your shallow-minded friends with. One thing I found particularly interesting was the audio recording UI. In order to use it, you have to touch and hold the record button to begin recording. Give your award-winning speech while holding onto the button, then let go and the app will finish and send your recording. If you want to cancel the recording, you simply drag your finger or mouse off the record button before letting go. A pretty neat, if a bit unnecessary, UI trick. Now in perusing the app, you'll notice that virtually everything about this app's UI screams direct iOS port. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing. We saw this exact phenomenon with its sister Instagram app for Windows 10 Mobile, and the iOS UI was used to great effect. Unfortunately, if you think this translates to a polished official release, you'd be terribly wrong. From jumpy loading to missing messages, as usual with the new age of agile, adrenaline-filled development, we just can't expect things to work consistently. Ultimately, this is a simple, easy-to-use messaging app that's about as generic as can be. And truth be told, that's just fine. See you guys next time.